so I'm here at Catyard Vineyards with Florence and Justine, and we just tasted your new wine of the 2020. You have three wines actually, and it's exciting to taste uh, your first wine in Napa Valley. So many people know all the amazing wines you make at um, Smith O Lafitte. And mm -hmm. I mean, it must be uh, pretty emotional to be doing this. And tell us, like, you, well, how did you, you know, why are you here? And, you know, and these amazing vineyards, old yes. vines. So just tell the whole idea and yeah. how you're feeling right for, now. For a long time, we had this dream of coming to Napa, but we are more or less dropped it because we did not find what we were looking for. And then this Irish uh, guy, Robert, he came and he said, he had sold Smith Olafit when he was very young. And he said, well, the courtyard, if you want to find Smith Olafit, one block, historic estate, great terroir, uh, you have to come because it's not officially for sale. And, and we came and that uh, was uh, just beginning of 2020. We loved it. And we had a coup de coeur. And uh -huh. we bought it. And, and you fell and in love with it. Yes, we fell in love. And then COVID and then... But we managed to come and, and to build and to make a lot, a lot of uh, improving. And then we found Justine because she had stayed two years and a half with us in Smith Solafit. And uh, she's agronomical engineer, an ologist and mainly very talented. And we want to keep her at Bordeaux, but the opportunity was such for her and for us. Here she comes and when she I made the wines. Yeah. Yeah. When I think what you really feel when, you know, I've been here twice, I've walked the vineyards and you real, you really feel this unique ecosystem you have here and amazing vineyards and different aspects. Like explain a little bit the, the, your whole, you know, how much, you know, about your vineyards. They're they're very amazing for here. So I think what Florence Daniel liked here is the diversity of terroir that we have here because we're on the foothill of the Mayacamas. So we have all the, first of all, valley floor, a little bit blocks here. And then most of the vineyard is on the foothill and on the mountainside. And so it gave us completely different wine profile. And so we just isolated the best we could produce and we blend it together to produce this, like for us, amazing, like 2020 wines. And we also, when we came here for the first year, we started, uh, we've done a I would say, turnover on the viticulture. Mm. We started to grow the vineyard organically. And so we stopped all the chemicals and we developed like some cover crops. We started to pay attention to all the different blocks one by one to just express the terroir uh, so, naturally. So we named them and you even I, have one just yeah. in block, which is yeah. not the yeah, worst one them. by far. So the yeah. idea was to farm them just like one by one and just to like be very peculiar on all the details we can do to each vine to make the full potential and to let the vineyard balance itself and so to produce like very high quality grapes and then wines, obviously. Do you find that the vines react differently here in Napa compared to, let's say, Bordeaux? Uh, yes, I will say for sure, because it's like a complete different completely different climates, you yeah. know, like here we have Not like... completely, because uh, in Bordeaux now we have the, the, the heat that's, okay, in that's summer, true. That's true. That's true. and uh, we have the fresh them. nights, which keep the acidity and freshness, that, okay, that's like true. here. So now we, we, I think there is a... So the difference here is that, you know, I think that's a lot of vineyard were very used to irrigation here, which in Bordeaux is not. No, it's not allowed. Um, and so here, what we want to do is absolutely let like the vines get used to have less and less water naturally. And so let them grow roots very deep. But and you want your help because the, the, the vines are 45 years old for Cartier Vineyard and, and 30 the terroir, average and, for the mm -hmm. others. So it's all vines, which is a privilege. Yeah. That's what we think. No, for sure. That's and, and also on the slopes of natural draining system. Mm -hmm. But, but uh, yes, they, they react a bit differently. But then as Florence was saying, like also the climate is also a bit changing in Bordeaux. So maybe we'll just like... Yes, and it, 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 we found exactly the same varietals. Yeah. Because we could not go, even if we liked it, but we could not go for Pinot. We, uh, we, we know so much uh, the Bordeaux varietals. But I, for example, uh, your wines, I really like their uh, suppleness mm. and um, finesse even though they have the, uh, let's say, Napa purity of fruit. And that's really 
and also they were very very um beautiful to to mm. drink as and you know that they're going to age well mm. at the same time so was that in, was that sort of intentional or it was all actually what you're getting in in the quality of the fruit from we the vineyards. I think it was intentional because we want Both. to have mm. uh, the, the, the smack of, of an incredible uh, peacock tail uh, in the nose of uh, of Napa, mm. which uh, obviously we we start to have in Bordeaux, but not the same, uh, the same voluptuous uh, flavors. And then we wanted the, the soft, velvety, very long finish of, uh, of Bordeaux. Yeah. Of, of what we do in uh, with the, the tamed tannin, if I may say, yeah. and uh, she, she she is able to do this with a little lead. And you have Fabia. transparency in the wines too. Yeah, I think as I said, like you can't make great wine if you don't have great quality grapes at the beginning. So what well, to reply to your question? I think it's just both, you know. And so first of all, yes, great grapes quality, and then obviously like there's the winemaking style is like we I say like fascinated it to, to produce the one we wanted to make, so less intervention during one making, to harvest more on the early side, obviously right, but on the yeah. early side, and um, and not add water, not add all this stuff, like just as less intervention as possible. And and have uh, this kind of like dense wine, structured wine with a lot of freshness. You got it. Well, we, thank you very much. I really see, like for your debut wine, it's really fantastic. And um, I can't wait to taste the, the 21. Thank you. Good. Thank you. Merci. Thank you. Merci.